it is quite common to have a situation where simply collecting the metrics isn't enough. Sometimes we may wish to do some sort of a calculation on them. For example, subtract one metric from another metric to obtain some sort of a result. So in this example that you see on the screen, I have a template with three item prototypes, space utilization, total space, and used space. What if I wish to obtain free space? So I can of course take total space and subtract used space from it, thus obtaining free space. But how would I go about this? Thankfully, Zabbix has an out-of-the-box item type called calculated item that allows you to do just that. So let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at a modified version of this template. And here I have it. Let's open up this file system discovery rule and let's look at the item prototypes. So I have created two extra prototypes of type calculated. And when I open one of these item prototypes up, for example, the free space prototype, I can notice a couple of differences when comparing it with the agent item prototypes. First off, the type of the item prototype is calculated. And we have a new field called formula. And this is where I can define the logic of my calculation. Over here, I'm specifying that I'm taking this here item key, total space, and subtracting the used space from it. The double slashes at the beginning represent that I'm going to be doing this on the current host wherever I'm discovering these here items. But I can reference a specific host by typing in the host name over here between these slashes if I wish to do so. The name and the key can be arbitrary. Units, same as these here items. We're going to, going to be using the same units and the same tags. Thus, I will be obtaining free space. Let's look at another example. Let's go back to item prototypes on our modified template and let's look at the free space forecast. Yes, I can use another trigger function. Actually, I can use many, many trigger functions for this. We can take a look at the documentation. We can see a large array of different functions that can be used over here for different sorts of calculations or even aggregations, which are going to be covered in another video. So over here, I'm using a forecast function to make a prediction on the free space. I am analyzing last one hour of data and predicting how much free space am I going to have in an hour, then displaying it in the latest data. So once we have modified this template, assign it to a host, I have a Windows host prepared. Let's look at it. Let's go to monitoring latest data. And let's see, for example, for the C drive, yes, I'm collecting total space. I'm collecting used space, space utilization, and these were the three item prototypes that we had out of the box. But I'm also collecting free space, total space minus used space. Makes sense. The number is correct. And I'm doing a forecast, trying to predict my free space after an hour. And these are just some very general examples. Feel free to open up the documentation, look at the syntax, look at this vast array of available functions. Probably you won't try all of them because there are so many of them, but this is extremely useful. Calculated items are more flexible than they have ever been, especially when comparing with previous versions. So feel free to play around with this. Some of these functions will definitely be of use to you and will allow you to reach your calculated item goals.